Are you looking for something to step up your Halloween treat game? We'll look no further because these amped up cake pops are sure to be a hit. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today we'll be making Halloween cake sickles. What's a cake sickle you might ask? Well, it's a cake pop popsicle. Crumbled up cake mixed with a little bit of frosting pushed into a popsicle mold covered with a colorful chocolate coating. So, so good. Super easy and a fun activity to do with your kids. Everything from Frankenstein, jack-o'-lanterns and spider webs perfect for halloween as a kid growing up my mom would send me to school with treats for every holiday for all my friends and teachers everything from christmas to valentine's to halloween so i knew when i had kids this was something i definitely wanted to do so this year we'll be making halloween cake sickles if you want to see what we made last year click the link up here and check out frankenstein marshmallow pops all right, let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need one box of cake mix, one fourth cup of frosting, and 36 ounces of chocolate candy melts. You can use any color, any brand, any flavor you'd like here. The tools you will need are cakesicle molds, popsicle sticks, and whatever decorations you choose. I've linked it in the description box below and you can check out the ones that I use. All right, let's get started. So you'll use the cake of your choice, any flavor, any box brand, you can make your own that you'd like. Really, any cake will work. Go ahead and cut it into pieces and place it into a bowl like this. And you're just gonna make large pieces. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna break it up after this part. So remove it from the pan and place it into the bowl. Then you're gonna take a fork or you can use a KitchenAid blender, or any stand mixer, hand mixer, and you're gonna crumble it up until it looks like sand. Then you're gonna add frosting here. You'll add about one fourth cup. Now, tips for making great cake sickles. The first thing, don't add too much frosting to your cake mix. If it's too wet and mushy, it won't hold its shape. Start with less, you can always add more. Cakes that are a little dry may need a little bit more frosting compared to cakes that are a little more moist, you may need less. Then you're gonna mix this all together. Make sure the frosting is well combined into all the crumbs of cake. You can use a fork, you can use your hands with gloves, totally up to you. However, you can get it all mixed well together. It'll kind of look like this. When you smush it together, it'll stick together like kind of like a ball of wet sand. And now the chocolates. You're gonna melt the chocolate candy melts. Also, when it comes to melting chocolate, in Hawaii, it's such an effort, I find, to melt chocolate and get it to the right consistency. The humidity here makes it a little bit difficult. But one trick that I found that works well is either adding Crisco or Paramount Crystals into your chocolate as you mix it to get it to more of that poured consistency. Also, you wanna make sure that you don't overheat your chocolate and scorch it. So heat it up in 30 second intervals and use the defrost setting on your microwave. And now it comes time to put the chocolate into the mold. So this consistency here is a little bit thick, but that's okay. So go ahead and put about a scoop into each of the molds like this. And you can see this is not quite poured consistency and you could always add a little bit more of the Crisco here. Then you're gonna tap the mold like this until the chocolate covers the bottom and all of the sides. Be sure that it's evenly spread out and nicely coating all sides. If you need to add a little bit more, you can do that like this and continue tapping until everything is well coated. Once done, you're gonna go ahead and push the popsicle sticks through so that the chocolate doesn't harden blocking that entrance for the popsicle stick there. This is a brand new mold set and so it was still a little bit tricky to stick the stick through. But once it just pops through like that, you can push it through so that the chocolate is wiped off of the edge like this and then you're going to set it in the fridge for about five to ten minutes until it hardens another thing that's important is lining the cake sickle mold you want to make sure you have enough chocolate on the edge and sides of the mold so that it won't crack when it comes out so if you need to do two or three layers that's fine too 
the chocolate has set you can then fill it so you'll take a couple scoops of the cake mix like this and you can pinch it together so that it forms then push it into the mold make sure it's completely flattened like this and then what you're going to do is push the popsicle stick until it's about three-fourths of the way up be sure to only work on one popsicle cakesicle at a time i've done this before and the chocolate ends up hardening way too quickly and then you'll pour the chocolate over the top and you can spread it out to cover the entire thing to make an enclosed shell you can push it with a spoon like this or if you have a spatula you can use it the one i have in this video is the straight one and that one's not as easy i should have used the angled one so this is one way to do it spread the chocolate out so that it covers the entire shell and you get one piece of chocolate covering the entire mold Continue until you've filled all the molds. Again, push it down until it's flat. Push the popsicle stick in about three fourths of the way up and fill with chocolate. I like the spoon method a little better. So you can kind of just push the chocolate around like this with the spoon. And then all you have to do is tap it on the countertop and that'll help flatten it out and make it nice and smooth. Then set in the fridge for five to 10 minutes until hardened. Lastly, you want to make sure you remove it carefully. All that time and effort you spent doing it, you don't want to take it out and break it, which I've done that before. So be sure to stretch the sides of the mold out before you slide up the cake sickle. So as you see here, you can kind of pull the sides away from the cake sickle like this to kind of remove it. I would place my hand completely flat underneath and then push the cake sickle up. If you kind of push it up by itself, it might crack. Then slide it and then pull the stick out and it'll look like this. This one we decided to make Frankenstein. Melted some black chocolate in a plastic bag with a coupler and a number three tip, then made zigzag jaggedy lines on the top to represent his hair. Then added some candied eyeballs and we'll just stick it together with the chocolate. I'll link it in the description box below. And then you can make the mouth. I should have made the bolt for the neck on there as well. I forgot to do that, but that would have been cute. And then that's your Frankenstein. We also did jack-o'-lantern. So instead of using green, we used orange to cover the cakesicle. And then using the same black that I used for the Frankenstein, I made the jack-o'-lantern's eyes, nose, and mouth like this. And you could also fill it in. I just outlined it, but you can design it however you want. Let the kids get involved. It's really fun. It's kind of soothing, in fact, for me. And lastly, we'll make some spider webs. So instead of green or orange, we'll use black. And then in the middle, we're using white chocolate melted, also in the piping bag with a number three tip on it. And then you push out the webs like this. And then you'll do the same thing on all the other ones. And that's your spider web. And that's how you make cake sickles. Grab your kids, get in the kitchen, have some fun. It's a great family bonding experience. If you want to check out some of my other island and Hawaiian style recipes, check out this playlist here. And if you want to check out some other desserts, check out this playlist here. Until next time, ahui ho! Thank you for watching my mom's video.